This video will demonstrate the installation of the Bodyguard 380 laser nub. First things first here, make sure that your gun is clear and safe to work on. Now what the laser nub does is it makes it much easier to actuate the laser on these little guns. From the factory, they're pretty hard to turn on. It almost requires two hands holding it, one hand to push against it, and the other hand to push the laser on. With the laser nub installed, it's very easy to one-handed turn the laser on and off. To install, simply field strip your weapon as if you were cleaning it. Lock the slide back, remove the takedown pin, and remove the slide. You can set that aside, you won't be using it. Next, using the Allen wrench, that came with the gun, remove the screw that holds the laser in. Sometimes it takes a little prying up to get the laser to remove. There it goes. Remove the laser. You can set that aside also. The easiest way to do this is simply to take the laser nub and a set of needle nose pliers and drop it right on top of the button in there. There's a little nipple that the nub goes around. Simply set it on top and push it in with your finger. I know that probably wasn't the easiest to, to see there, but I'll poke the button out so you can see also. But that's installed. That's ready to go. You can uh, put the laser back in, put the slide on, and it's done. But like I said here, I'll poke the button out so it's a little easier to see on the camera here. So that's the button with the nub installed. You can uh, take the button out like that, install the nub, and then put the button with the nub back in the frame, but I find that's a little harder to do. I like to do it with the button in the gun, so push the button back in here. Take the nub, set it back on the middle of the button there on top of the nipple. Just push it in with the finger. And there it is. You can do one or both sides. I'll do uh, just one for this demonstration, but that's all it is. Put the laser back in, slide it in with the front end first and it'll drop right into place. Screw the little Allen screw back in. Put your slide back on, install your takedown pin, and it's good to go. So, now it is very easy to simply one-handed tap the button on and off. On the other side here where the nub is not installed, it's, it's possible to turn it on and off, but it is takes a lot more force and it's not very comfortable. So what you want to do now that it's installed is take a holster that you carry it in, put it in there, and see if you can turn it on by just putting a little bit of pressure around where the laser button is. If it turns on, you'll want to shorten it because you don't want it turning on by accident in your pocket or if you're carrying it inside the waistband. So the way to do that is to take your little nub and put it on the tip of a, a pair of pliers like this or something with a, a point that will hold it and very very quickly just tap it with the tip of a flame I mean very quickly just two or three little touches like that with a flame don't hold it at all what that's gonna do is it'll curl the edges just a hair and it'll shorten it so it'll make it a little bit harder to push the button if you uh, seem to be bumping it on a little bit more than you'd like but that's a little bit of personal preference there but uh, enjoy